Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to put some real estate beer on the face of this image. Okay. Let's get started. First of all, we will go to so, so let's first we'll open the image and then we'll go to file new. Uh, you can choose any size. And with the crop tool, I will crop it like this. I'll make a small box, okay, and enter. So now select brush tool and uh, we'll make the size very small. First of all, let's select a very simple brush. So this will be the uh, default brush in your Photoshop. I had, I was like checking out some other brushes. That's why my brush was a different one. Otherwise this will be your default brush. And with this brush, you're gonna decrease the size. Let's see. I think about three pixel, yeah. And you're gonna click and drag like this, okay? Fast, fast, okay? I think that's good enough. And then uh, we can just go to crop again and you can still decrease the size of the canvas and press enter after that we're going to edit define brush preset and name it the beard okay click ok after that you can close this file and we'll, we're going to the going back to this image so we are ready with the brush, new brush. What we're going to do is we're going to this plus button, which is adding new layer. Click and it has ad added a blank layer. So after that, we're going to this thing, which is brush settings. If you don't see this here, you can go to window and then brush settings okay and this one 404 is the new brush here your might be uh your brush might have a different number my brush has 404 and having that brush selected you can change the spacing here okay if you click like this the space will increase i'm going to increase Quite a bit about 133 after that you can go to this shape dynamics click on shape dynamics you can press on this and drag the size jitter it will have different sizes of you know your brush will have different sizes of strokes every time you paint and uh, uh i don't mind with the minimum diameter so you can choose any diameter uh, for now we can just keep it zero and angle jitter you can choose it so that it will create a different you know uh, it will create a variation of angles you know like this you won't paint in one single direction. Just a little bit, not too much, okay? Okay, I think that's enough. And you don't need to worry about this round roundness jitter. I keep it zero. Yeah, that's it. And um, let's try first. Right now it's quite big. You can right click and then decrease the size 
C and click and drag like this. Hope you can see this. If you don't see, I will zoom it. Okay. So this is how it looks. Just click and drag. Click and drag. You can increase the size here or you can press the bracket just next to the letter P. Next to the letter P is smaller and then next to that one is uh, increase increment or bigger size making it bigger making the brush bigger okay you just click a little bit and tap a little bit where you don't need much okay if you're not happy with this setting you can always go to the brush settings and uh, go to brush tip shapes or shape dynamics and angle jitter angle jitter a little bit okay and that will fix the problem hold the space key to try it like this okay Just click like this to make some of the scattered beard. Small ones here and small ones here. You can press Ctrl Z when you accidentally paint uh, on the area where you don't actually need okay. now we can zoom out and see and we can add a little bit more beard on the area where we want more of them okay You can also select different color if you want. You know, if you want a different color of beard. And let's see. This is good enough. Don't need much beard now. Okay, you can keep it like this or you can try to change the blend mode of this layer to make it look a little more realistic. Like this overlay, you can, you know, make it go with the lighting. And yeah, you can choose any option. Uh, let me see which works for now I think this uh, darker color works well and also overlay and I think I'll go with overlay this is how it looks and if you zoom in a little bit you can see that this right side of his face has a kind of a uh, little bit of blur uh, blur effect or let's say um, blur thing so we can make this side of the beard a little um, a little bit blur so you can go to this thing go to blur tool and just tap a little bit Okay, let me see on this side, uh, not much here, just a little bit, okay, 
yeah zoom out okay i think this is good enough if you want uh this beer to be a little stronger or darker you can also duplicate the layer by pressing ctrl and j so this makes the beard uh, darker and once you do that you can press ctrl and e to merge the layer the both the layers of uh, beard and after that i think that's good enough uh you can also decrease the opacity to make it less stronger or more realistic okay you can also try making it a little more blur by going to filter blur uh and blur not much difference blur and blur okay not much difference again maybe Gaussian blur and 0 0.5 maybe okay that's good once more Gaussian blur and once more 0 0.5 and I think that looks good enough so you can see we have gone we have, we have gone from this to this okay so hope you like this tutorial if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button Leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe to this channel.